So now we have our menu and our body styled so it can be shifted over. We need to go ahead and do two more things here. The first is a tiny little bit of JavaScript, which is basically just going to, when we click toggle, uh, toggle this menu open class on the body look that we've seen uh, activate the menu on the left hand side. So that's the first thing we want to go ahead and do and we'll actually see that then working. The next thing we then want to go ahead and do is apply some transitions to the menu side and the menu, i.e. the body, and this will then basically uh, slide this in as the class is toggled. So we don't actually need to do any animating using JavaScript. So the first thing that we want to go ahead and do to get the JavaScript working is at the end of our body, we want to go ahead and include uh, jQuery. We're going to be using jQuery just for simplicity, but you can go ahead and write the JavaScript yourself or use another library. So the source we're going to go ahead and take from Google Hosted Libraries just so it's nice and fast. So if you head over to Google Hosted Libraries, click jQuery and go ahead and copy and paste the source here. That will allow you to have your copy of jQuery served via Google CDN. And I'm going to go ahead and just put HTTP in front of that. Um, the next thing that we're going to do, if we just turn word wrap off, is we're going to go ahead and write within this page and this probably should sit within an external um, script on your site but for now we're just going to put it in the body so we can see what we're doing um, we want to go ahead and uh, first of all create a function that's going to execute when we run the page that's fairly straightforward so if I do a console log here I have run that will just run that code if we head over to the console, I have run. And what we now want to do is, um, assuming that you've included jQuery, which we've done, I'm going to go ahead and going to create a variable called body, which is going to use a jQuery selector to select the body element of the page. That's fairly straightforward. What we now want to do is add an event handler on the menu toggle anchor, which remember we gave the class of menu toggle here. So we want to create a... Uh, again use a selector so menu toggle we want to say bind so we're going to use the bind method and we're going to bind the click event so when we click that item a, a function will be run so we have a, a closure here and let's go ahead and console log this out clicked just so we know that this works so we're binding the click event so when this toggle is clicked you can see that we have clicked return in the console here so that we know that that's working and what we're now going to do is basically just use the toggle class method on our earlier selector body. So we're using the body uh, variable here, dot toggle class. And then we specify the name of the class, which is menu open. So remember that when we want to uh, hide, hide the menu, we get rid of menu open. And when we want to show the menu, we add the menu open class. So that's all with our CSS styles. So once we toggle it, that's fine we'll toggle that that will just switch it on and off basically or remove it and add it and then we want to go ahead and just return false so now this functionality should work if we go ahead and actually click toggle you can see that this actually does activate our menu and all of this is obviously being being done with CSS so we're just adding a class which then shows and hides the relevant content so now is the fun part where we go ahead and add the CSS transitions and this is all done with CSS. There's no need to do this with JavaScript animation. Um, if, if this isn't supported in an older browser, it will just look like we've just seen it in here. It won't, we won't get the animation, but it will still work. So we're not relying as heavily on JavaScript here to create a, a nicer solution. So we want to go ahead and apply the uh, the transition to both the menu side so that's going to slide out and menu now remember the menu class is effectively the body so we want the body to also animate itself when it moves to the right as well as when the menu slides to the right as well so to use a uh, to create a transition very simply using the shorthand transition property we go ahead and we supply the property that we want to uh, animate effectively and that's left so that's the property that we want to animate we then go ahead and choose the times this is uh, 0.2 seconds or we could do 200 milliseconds it doesn't matter uh, so I'll just choose 200 seconds here and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use ease to just for the sort of uh, transition type 
So this will work, but we rely on the WebKit and Moz um, vendor prefixes as well. So we need to go ahead and apply these like that. So what's now going to happen is menu side now has this transition on the left property and menu on the left property. And because we're changing the left property, that's where the transition will come into play. So now when we go ahead and we toggle this, you can see that it slides in and out nicely. So obviously uh, when a user comes to your website, you'll want to remove the menu item um, class and that will give this view. And then when we go ahead and click on toggle, that just opens the menu and we can go ahead and close the menu as well. So we've got a nice CSS transition solution with very, very little JavaScript and uh, heavily relying on our CSS to make this slide out menu.